Hello, everyone. Uh, it, welcome today to today's snack break. It's Monday, May 4th, and also, of course, National Star Wars Day. Um, I'm Jen Stone from Source, and I'm going to give you a quick orientation of the webinar tool itself before I introduce our guest today. Uh, you are muted automatically, but that doesn't mean that we want to be the only ones doing the talking. You all have access to the live chat where you can send a message or questions to the whole group. Uh, if you have trouble with the audio or viewing the presentation, feel free to send uh, that message privately. And you can test out the chat now by dropping in your favorite emoji or let us know what you're snacking on. Feel free to chat in your questions anytime during the presentation. If we don't answer in real time, we'll be sure to cover it during our Q&A at the end of the session. Um, you can also adjust the ratio of the video to slides by dragging that black slider bar underneath the speaker video. And also the recording of this webinar is going to be sent to you after we wrap up the live event. So if you miss anything or if you want to share it with a friend, you'll be able to do that. All right, now I'd like to introduce today's guest, uh, Brianna Anastasi from McGrory Glass. Brianna is based in New Jersey and she covers Philadelphia and the Pacific Northwest. Um, she's gonna be showing us a range of products and talk about the limitless uh, customization available with their line. Bri, it's so great having you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Jen, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And hi, everybody that's joined in. I love it. Sorry. Yes. Thank you for the dog cameo. My Nellie is, uh, she, she's not practicing social distancing. So, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. She's not practicing social distancing. So hi, everyone. Uh, she likes to jump on my lap and then disappear. I hope everyone's having a good snack day. I um, am, am eating veggie chips. They are absolutely delicious. And I'm sadly quite addicted to them. So that's my snack today. Dan, what do you have? That's better than mine. I've got some mint, um, which way do I turn it? Some mint chip ice cream. So you're choosing a healthier uh, route than I am. So you had mentioned something about an ice cream sandwich before this, so I got inspired. <laughs> yes, I'm so much and other things. I was going to have an ice cream sandwich today because it's been yesterday, today, uh, yesterday and today and Saturday were just beautiful in the high 70s here and finally sunshine. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get an ice cream sandwich. But I was <laughs> fearful it would start melting and then I'd be licking my fingers. And I guess it's not that's not PC these days. So <laughs> <laughs> after the presentation, you can, you can after the presentation, I'll do that. Absolutely. For sure. Um, but thank you guys so much. And I want to be really respectful of your time. If for any reason you guys uh, have any questions along the way, throw them in the chat box. Um, we can, this is so informal. Uh, it's kind of hard to show glass virtually. I've learned that over the last six weeks. So what I want to do is kind of just show you some project photography and hopefully it will be inspirational to you. Um, you'll be able to see some various products and how they're actually implemented into uh, projects. So again, stop me along the way and ask any questions, but I'll try to leave a few minutes at the end too. So, um, so for those of you who aren't familiar, um, McGrory Glass is an East Coast based uh, South Jersey, right outside of Philadelphia, architectural glass company. Um, we've been in business for 36 years. One of the things I'm most proud of and a huge passion of mine is our commitment to sustainability. Back in 2012, we went fully solar and we became the only glass processor in the United States to run fully off of solar energy. Um, all of our products are red list free with the exception of X-ray shield and glass. Um, everything else is red list free. We are very transparent and have EPDs and HPDs on all of our products. So if you need uh, any any of that information, we're all we're very, very happy to provide that for you. Um, we also have many members of our team that are actually LEED certified as well. So this is our that's our building right there over two acres of solar panels on our roof. So I'm just gonna get through some project photography here. Question, can you guys see me moving my hand or my little arrow to point to things? No, we can't. Oh, you can't, okay, all right, no worries. Um, so this is uh, New York Presbyterian Hospital. This is the David Koch uh, Cancer Center. And as you can see on the left side of the screen, there's actually some laminated glass panels. Um, glass is used a lot of times in healthcare because Glass, uh, by its nature, is antimicrobial. So um, you see a lot of that being used in healthcare, very cleanable surface. And with our laminated glass, you can really kind of pick any kind of color or interlayer. This is a uh, Princeton University. We, on the left side of the screen, we did some glass doors and some striped etch glass. Uh, the young lady sitting down reading a book, we also did the three panels of glass on, above her head. Uh, they were had laminated interlayers of the people that donated money to um, and help this, uh, the um, Princeton McCosh Hall get started. And then of course, we also did the glass doors on the right side of the screen. 
And again, more of our glass doors. Uh, we did some blue back painted glass, a lot of striped glass, but they used a lot of glass on Princeton. Um, this is a project out in St. Louis, Missouri, um, the Barnes Jewish uh, West County Hospital. This is one of our uh, wall cladding products. And what's different between our back painted glass and our wall cladding, back painted glass, we can take any glass at all and paint the back of it any color to match a Sherwin Williams Ben Moore Pantone color. Um, and thank you very much, Brittany, I appreciate that. Um, but this is actually a metallic, it's, it's a mirror backed glass with a bronze inner layer and an acid etched front surface. So we have a lot of these, we call these our wall cladding products. They have a lot of reflective properties. So they bring a lot of space, a lot of light to your space, but they're not as flat as back painted. In this case, it was um, um, acid etched glass, mirror backing with a bronze inner layer. And on some panels, they put a printed inner layer of these um, pine trees that they made. So. I mean, so it was it's really pretty in real life and and the story behind it on that project was uh where that hospital was being there was a pine forest where that hospital was being built it had to get cut down and some of the trees they were actually able to move to different locations but they wanted the pine trees was the theme of the whole hospital because of that so kept the language going um if for any of you up in seattle this is a project at two union square uh, we worked with a seattle-based architect there and uh, in Two Union Square, they had uh, an artist, go. Um, I should say a famous photographer to the Pacific Northwest, go out and take all these images of just Pacific Northwest uh, beautiful trees and forests and things like that. They gave us the images. We printed them onto a film inner layer. We laminated them within glass. So there's glass, the printed films, and then there's an acid etched glass on the back surface. The elevator cab manufacturer, who we work with a lot, Vertical Dimensions, back with these, they came out absolutely stunning. So if you're ever in Seattle, near the two Union Square building, um, pop in there and just press all the elevator buttons so that um, every elevator has a different image in it. So push all the buttons so you can see them all. Uh, the Sedman Cancer Center in Cleveland, Ohio. We do a lot of glass railings as well. Um, we obviously can do them in clear. Sometimes when they're on steps, we do them in an acid etch finish for um, modesty purposes and things like that but glass is very highly used in healthcare. And this is Penn Medicine Cherry Hill. I especially like this picture. One, the bright blue colors are just very, very cherry to me, but this project had a really super tight budget. And the problem with the budget, uh, they basically didn't have any money and they wanted this kind of curved wall. So they were able to find a, uh, a wall where we could use, it was a segmented wall where we were able just to use flat glass panels and we just use some in-house colors. There's nothing custom here. These are all custom. These are all colors we had on the shelf. They gave me, uh, send me a range of teals and blues and, and aquamarines. We sent them some samples and they were able to make their selection from that. Parkview Medical Center. Um, this is a project where we did uh, some of our acid etched striped glass. On the left side of the screen, we had our acid etched striped glass with a a subtle translucent white inner layer. And on the right side of the screen, uh, the little uh, patient dividers, they are simply um, just our acid etched striped glass. So our products are great by themselves. They're also great when they're married up with other, other products. Bay Health Hospital, on the left, again, you see some doors. This is our gradient glass. Uh, we can do gradients in transparent colors, translucent, and also fully opaque. The nice thing is when you specify the gradient glass, you have complete control over the gradient orientation. So it can be opaque, gradient, clear, however you see fit for your design. So on the left are the doors, and on the right are the uh, is those st stair railing glass where they also kept the gradient as well, and they were just able to crop it to the uh, height of the railings. Uh, Lori uh, Children's Hospital, the nice thing here is this is actually a blue gradient glass, but what I wanted to point out, this is also fire rated glazing. So a lot of people know me as the decorative girl. We also have performance products like x-ray shielding glass. We have integral blind glass. We have the, um, we have fire rated glazing, and we also have switchable glass that goes from opaque to clear. And most of those products can also be married up with decorative. So you don't just have to have some, you know, piece of ugly fire rated glass. We can actually matter it up to, with decorative. Um, NFL headquarters, this is kind of a fun picture. Um, we did a lot of the work in, on, on the walls in the conference rooms of NFL's headquarters. Again, more, we do a lot of you know, office fronts and things like that. This was fun, they wanted glass office fronts, but they were concerned about people walking into the glass. So they just did a lot of the uh, kind of football lingo and we printed it on an inner layer and laminated it inside of glass, sort of as a distraction strip. <clears throat> 
again, a little bit more of NFL headquarters. We did a lot of uh, back pain of glass as well on this job. Back pain of glass is great because it's, it's very cost effective. Uh, this is a project very local to uh, Portland. Uh, this is Uncle Bank's headquarters right in downtown Portland. Um, if you have not been in this lobby, it is absolutely stunning, done by a Portland architect. As you walk into the right, um, there are some gray mirrored glass. It's also wall cladding, but it's married up with an acid etch fade. So uh, when you walk down, the, the mirror is clear, and then there's acid etch that fades up. So at the top, it's it's a gradient, it's a the gradient, and then at the top, it's just a, a, a diffused gray mirror. And then on the left side up here is gray mirror. And down on the elevator surrounds on the bottom left of the screen, that's just one of our stock acid etch mirrors. We have several different uh, finishes, several different colors, um, but that is just one of our stock low iron acid etch mirrors. Really a beautiful product. Um, I like the mirrors again because they bring a lot more light reflectivity to a space versus back painted glass. And this is Corn Ferry, again, the gradient glass, just a project out in Chicago and some more office fronts as well. I like to show pictures of some of our wow factor projects and some of our projects that are a little bit more uh, scaled back as well. This is Jefferson Healthcare uh, based right out in Port Towns in Washington, I guess about an hour or so out of Seattle. They too did the gradient glass and they chose to do it in their branding colors, um, but for HIPAA reasons and things like that, um, they have these uh, glasses going up so far so people can't see uh, things that aren't meant for their eyes. Love this picture. This is Bell Truxton's headquarters. Uh, this is a laminated, a tempered laminated glass, and their conference rooms are actually curved. So I think it looks very clean, very new, very spicy. I think it's again they use grays, white, blacks, really simple colors here. But um, this is the other side of their office building. But I think it looks really cool. We use a glass a lot in branded design. This is ABT's headquarters. We were able to print their branded color and branded logo and some glass kind of as you walk into a space gives you a touch of the wow factor and i don't know why i love this picture as well this uh, architect was out of new york ted modis but this is actually in san francisco this is the gemological institute of america and again they really just picked out some um uh, cool blue colors and things like that were just off the shelf and they did a different gem color for all of their uh, learning areas and I absolutely love that so that's cool. Right. that's cool yeah John that's cool you're right outside of Port Townsend I've never been there and I never knew anyone from there so I'm glad it really exists <laughs> um, continental green again very soft like very soft muted colors very safe colors we do a lot of neutrals and tans of course I'm a big fan of colors but obviously, uh, you know, sometimes people just want nice, safe, cool bronzes, cool grays, things like that. We have plenty of those as well. Uh, this is our back painted glass on the left here. This is actually a three-story wall at Hill International in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is our branded color. And basically what they did is a job had a very tight budget. Uh, our back painted glass is anywhere from $14 to $18 a square foot. No custom colors at all. Um, but they took this and, and we just back painted this glass. It was adhered to the wall. So you have a nice three story wall. Again, nice, clean look, very cleanable. Uh, St. Cabane's headquarters in Malvern, Pennsylvania. Um, but this is the sliding glass doors. And just a reminder, like I said before, but we have an entire door and handrail department. So if you're in need of any consultation for um, any kind of door hardware, even railing hardware, mounting hardware, we are a great resource to you, so we can get all that to you. Um, but these these golden doors, uh, it's actually the same color, um, but as you stack them, they obviously take on different colors. And Skanska's headquarters, just some glass spins with some of their branding colors. The Washington Post, a lot of people use glasses, marker boards, and any smooth glass is really suitable for a marker board. We also do have an acid etch matte marker board, um, but this here is just, this actually isn't marker board, this is a laminated glass, again, just with a smooth surface. They were trying to allow a lot of natural lighting into the space. You could also write on it from both sides. So you could do that in translucent, or you could do it in opaque. So here in their conference rooms, they have double-sided opaque laminated glass. So the person in the room adjacent to this is able to write on the glass as well. Um, the National Mu Museum of the U.S. Army. This job, I think, is still in construction, but these are some installation shots. 
we a couple of years ago acquired a film company where we print a lot of custom films that can get laminated inside of glass. Uh, here we were able to match colors to represent all the different campaigns of the uh, United States Army, and we made these glass flags out of them. The Bloomberg building, um, this is all tempered laminated glass, just so you know, any overhead glazing must be tempered and laminated. Um, so tempered laminated glass, there's bent glass here, a glass with some really cool funky shape cuts, but just to show you a nice clean look, and they did a sunburst gradient on this glass here right over the lighting component. Uh, again, one more shot of Bay Health coming down the end of the road here, and I saved the best for last. This is our Ocean Series glass. Uh, this is a, our version of Dichroic. We have seven different color schemes, but this is the glass that has an ink shifting pigment in it, and it changes when you look at it in a certain light or a, from a certain angle. Um, and here's an installation photo from San Francisco. This is Merck's headquarters. Uh, we offer this in an opaque and also in translucent, but it's really cool, the same piece of glass as you can see just from standing here, it changes colors right before your eyes. So a really, really fun product. Um, again, in addition to all of these products here, we offer some performance products like switchable, fire rated, anti-reflective. And beyond that, uh, we have a fantastic team at McGrory of engineers um, and people that can help you specify your glass if you need deflection calculations, STC ratings, uh, anything like that, we are on hand to do so. Um, I hope soon to be back at Source's office and seeing everybody face to face. But in the meantime, I'm here. We are open and operating. We are fully operating. So if you, um, oh sure, Brittany, no problem. I saw that. Um, yeah, we, we have samples going out the door any, every day. Uh, just so you know, our, we do not make glass. We are a fabricator. But all of our low iron and clear glass is made domestically from a company called PPG. Um, we do not have a tile line of glass. I'm so sorry. We do not have a, a line of tile glass at this time. Um, tile is a great product. It's, we don't have a way of cutting tile into like three by four inch squares. It would be a little bit too much labor intensive. Um, jumping back really quick to um, Brittany's question. All of our, uh, no problem. All of our, sorry, this platform is new to me. So <laughs> forgive me for jumping around. Um, Brittany, all of our, the wire and glass and clear glass is made from PPG. We buy it domestically. Um, Pilkington plate glass, also known as vitro, we get that in domestically. Um, I will say that our x-ray shielding glass comes from Corning, which is uh, Corning France. And we are the US national uh, distributor for that. Fire rated glazing, we get that from TGP, based out of Spokane, Washington. Um, so we are the East Coast distributor for TGP's fire rated glazing. Uh, and all of our acid etch glass comes from a company called Vitral Specchi or Madras, and they're located out of Italy. Um, the reason is in the United States, or in North America, I should say, no one actually truly acid etches glass. Um, we partner with Vitral Specchi. They've been in business for five generations. Their glass is truly acid etched, but we import it. We stock it at our facility right here in New Jersey. But um, they're the only non-domestic products, everything else. All of our printing is done at our facility in Ohio. We print on um, PET films that are made domestically. So everything is um, relatively uh, made local and shipped. Awesome. So, great. Does anyone have any questions? Looks like Sarah has one other question. Um, do you see glass getting used more as partitions as we start to move back into open office spaces? That's funny you say that. I have I, I just read an article on glass barriers the other day and our company, we're getting a lot of requests for glass barriers. Um, glass, like I said, the surface texture of glass by nature is antimicrobial. Um, it, it's a very durable product, but yes, we are getting more and more glass requests for glass partitions. Um, the biggest glass kind of change I've seen, um, we are getting lots of calls from property owners that have like the rotating or revolving door. You know, you walk in and someone walks in behind you and it goes around in a circle. Uh, at least in Philadelphia, a lot of people are going to be doing away with them and having like those touchless doors. Kind of like in the grocery store when you go in and they just open and close. So I see that being um, an area where doors will change, I should say. Um, but yeah, we are getting a lot of requests for glass barriers. So I bet. Awesome. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, let us know if there's any other questions. Um, you can drop them in the chat now. Um, and just a quick reminder that a copy of this recording is going to be sent to everybody um, after we wrap up. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to be hosting Stephanie Deshaies with Architect. She's awesome. I love her. She's so fun. She's fun. Yeah. 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 Um, so you can go to our events page at tothesource.com and register for upcoming snack breaks there and watch any of the archive videos. Absolutely. And just like so you guys know, we're open and operating. If there's anything I can help you with as a resource or get you samples, just uh, shoot me an email. So cool. Thanks, Brianna. Thanks so no much problem. for everything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it. I'm like reading all the comments and I'm so sorry. I'm like a little kid right now. Like, where do I look? Where do I look? Where do I look? <laughs> it's a lot at once. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for attending. I really appreciate your time today. Awesome. Thanks so much, Bree. Everybody All have right. a good week and yeah, happy snacking. Yes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> happy snacking, everybody, and bye. Happy my happy Monday. Yeah. May the fourth <laughs> be with you. <laughs> exactly. Take care. All right. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.